Okay, for this project, I had the previous project open, 2020 Game 1A. I already went to File, Save as a Copy, and then I changed the name to 2020 Game 1B. And you're going to have to share this project. I have not yet done that. And at this point, what we want to do is make things fall. If you want your enemies to fall, Again, in the bottom right, you can upload, oops, sorry, wrong one. You can upload your enemy. I actually didn't do that. I just chose a sprite because these aren't enemies. These are things I want to gather when they fall. So later on, I'll actually upload my enemy in here and make an enemy that falls or make something that falls uh, so my character can avoid it. We'll also have things that fly across the screen or crawl across the screen. So enemies can come right to left, left to right, where things can fall. Good things can fall, bad things can fall. Once you have chosen a sprite or uploaded a sprite, then these are the blocks, the instructions that you program on that sprite. This is pretty much the same thing here that I have up for you in Canvas. The other, that's the banana, uh, the other sprite here, I've actually made it a little more complex, so if I click on that sprite, uh, I have it going to a random position instead of a number. So the game uh, starts sometimes with the apple here, sometimes there. Same thing when it falls to a certain spot down here, it becomes less than minus 176. It's going to hide, it's going to wait a certain amount of time. It's going to reset the Y to the top and pick a new random X position. Maybe here, maybe here, maybe here. So as a game, that should end up in different positions as we play. Um, if it's not resetting, then the else means it should be showing and falling until it gets to this point where it resets again. So we want to create uh, some sprites, either choose them or upload them and put a script on it that makes it fall, as it says in Canvas.